Today's feature is Mai Sakurajima from Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. One seventh scale from Aniplex and Wing. Hi, I'm Lolo and this is Nostalgia Collection. You'll find out if this collectible is worthy of being part of your collection. For this review, we take a look at overall collectability as well as the ability to spark nostalgia. But before that, join me in collectible nostalgia by hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video too. My son decided to take a break from show business after years in the limelight. She had hoped that by keeping a low profile, she'll be able to enjoy some privacy as a regular student. This sudden shift in popularity coupled by a mysterious occurrence of the puberty syndrome mixed in with the Schrodinger's cat caused her to slowly vanish from existence. Sakata, the series protagonist, brought her back into existence. Together they continued to solve puzzles of the strange encounters with the puberty syndrome. This figure was released July 2019 and again this 2022. It stands 25.5 cm tall at 1 is to 7 scale. The figure looks beautiful. Her pose looks great. Her stance is quite balanced. The hair has movement with several pieces of strands. The scalp is the highlight of this figure. Under good lighting conditions, you will definitely see the depth and beauty that makes this figure very special. However, it would have really made the figures pop a bit more. If it had more paint textures, it would have completely elevated this scaled figure way above the alternative non-scaled versions of mine. Her face on the other hand is well done. They've also captured the hair accessories she has and of course the bunny ears. This is still widely available in stores. You can also try the links in the description below. Mai's pose is perfect. It simultaneously presents Mai's attractive figure as well as the moment she decided she wanted to be seen even for a bit, even going to the extreme of wearing a bunny suit. Her hands show the uncertainty and careful approach at that very moment. I remember how she tries to appear mature on the surface with just a regular teenage girl inside. Her face is a picture of her curious search for someone, anyone who could notice her existence. This astounding piece takes me back to the psychological, scientific journey that made me recall the complex emotions of people undergoing this change in their lives with my at its spirity. I hereby grant this figure the rank of Grail. The nostalgia and sculpture make this one of the best representations of mine. Keep your eyes open and fully crush on mine. Her existence is truly unforgettable. For more nostalgia goodness, don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like me to feature some of your favorite figures, let me know in the comment section below.